is monday after 61 days it will be right what your options are tuesday monday sunday saturday okay so i think the problem of visibility is solved i think every one of you is getting the correct option pankaj why don't you recheck it suraj recheck it fine yes सर क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स मध्य डाउट है मजा क्लियर करना का क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स सर अपन जर थर्सडे पास वीक मोजले तो सेवेन्थ डे वर वेनसडे करेक्ट मग वेनसडे नोन दिवस थर्सडे फ्राइडे तो सर उत्तर फ्राइडे राइजे ना सैटर्डे कस का ओके सो मुझे बगा ना सर अपन थर्सडे नंतर काम अगेन व्हाट यू सेड सर थर्सडे नंतर जर अपन सात दिवस मोड लिए तो सातवां दिवस वेनसडे है तो हाँ मग वेनसडे नंतर दोन दिवस थर्सडे एंड फ्राइडे तो सर उत्तर फ्राइडे हेल्प आए जलना क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स जस्ट अ मिनट हाँ प्रश्न कर लगा सर आप ले ला कर हाँ तू 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 तो बोलने लग सकता है माजा ओ साल सर सो इट्स ए कंप्लीट ए वीक राइट एंड देन नेक्स्ट डे विल बी स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम ओके एनीबॉडी वुड लाइक टू कमेंट ऑन दिस समवन एल्स Whatever Akshay is stating, someone further wanted to. Uh... What happened, sir? I have asked something wrong. Okay, someone has very interestingly written. I think just a minute. Santosh, can you write something else? Why, why it is, uh, why you have written like that? If it is not, then what could be the correct one? Again, Siddharth is saying it. Mayuresh, but I think you have given the answer Saturday. Now why you are changing? <laughs> yes, I know Saturday is correct one.
Yes, thus Thursday should not be counted while adding. So it, here the question is that before nine days, right? So Thursday plus seven. So before nine days, there was Thursday. So from that Thursday, right? I think Akshay has started uh, to start uh, to count from Thursday itself, right? Akshay, I'm also answering you, right? Yes, sir. But also I'm taking yes, I'm taking also. I wanted to uh, see whether someone is there again who wants to fall on your side and maybe uh, sticks to their own side. So anyway, this is this is always very good. See, obviously this is a called a kind of cooperative teaching. Unless and until we help out that. In fact, whatever the question you have raised, this question might have been in others' mind, but no one has raised it. So uh, for that. Uh, it is it is always better to raise any of the questions by someone that doesn't mean it it is it is only for your own right so i was talking about so before 9 days it was thursday that means your first day will be friday right now if your first day is friday so obviously according to your uh, second half of logic seven day will be thursday so remaining two days will be the friday and saturday right so that is the reason Right. Or you can write simply Thursday plus seven plus two. That will give you your answer. That is, answer is Saturday for this question uh, six. Right. I hope I have uh, answered. Okay, so means I have I मतलब हमें count नहीं करना है Thursday. Whenever no, we have no, to count, no. we have to let the Thursday. What is there before nine days ago? Before nine days ago. Obviously, it was Thursday. Then the first day among these nine ninth days, uh, nine days will be your Friday. Second day will be Saturday. Third will be Sunday. Fourth will be Monday. Fifth will be uh, Tuesday. Sixth will be Wednesday, and seventh will be Thursday. Eighth will be Friday, and again ninth will be Saturday. Right. So this is the consequence. Fine. Yes, now I think my guess is now also uh, agreed with this particular logic. Anyway, uh, I always expect these kinds of queries so that it will always groom you. Right, that's fine. Okay, let's go to the next question. I hope. Is someone is also yes. Hello, sir. Ah. Sir, in question number fourth, means if first October is Sunday, and twentieth day will be the Sunday, na sir. In twentieth hmm. October will be Sunday. Hmm. So, sir, twentieth fifth day, twenty nine will be the Monday. And no, uh, thirty no. will be the Tuesday. Then thirty first mm. will be the Wednesday, no sir. Hmm. Then so how does first, first November? Will be okay. Yes, right. sir. Sir, the what first November should be. Yes. The first November should be sir Thursday, no sir. Now see. Uh, okay, here Sunday is it? Uh, Sunday is on the first, right? Yes, sir. Right. So after uh, how many days the next will next Sunday will come or on hot uh, sorry on hot uh, date uh, the next Sunday will come will be uh, will it be on seven or eight? Uh, eight I suppose. Means first October we should not include no sir. No 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 now here you have started it that question was different before nine days. Right. Okay, that sir. means the, from today, the uh, if you if you go back, tenth day was your Thursday. That was the logic in that particular question, in in question number six. That is the reason these questions looks very simple, but sometimes uh, we we jumble in these cases. Right. So the next Sunday will come again on after eighth of October. So obviously, after every seven days being added, it will be so. Twenty-two plus seven is twenty-nine, and twenty-nine will be your Sunday. 
got it i think yes sir uh, i think i have when i said uh, it is 10th from today right so that that time your question might have yet clear fine okay sir okay. thank you sir let's go to the next one i think i forgot what could be the question yes today is monday right then uh, after 61 days what it will be anyway right so most of you have already uh, answered right it is saturday right option d saturday so again uh, uh, the logic of complete weeks right so how many complete weeks you can have here right that will give you uh, the day right very simple if instead of 61 days if there could be 63 days right instead of 61 days if there could be 63 days then what could be the day Kadam Pranav, Richaket. Have you heard the answer? Uh, question. Om Richaket. Right. So, question is after here it was after 61 days. If after 63 days, that's only change. So obviously, same day will be repeating because 63 days, that means complete weeks. Right? So that is obviously Monday. Fine. So, Okay, very interesting question. The last day of a century cannot be A, B, C, and D. Monday. Wednesday, Tuesday, and Friday. Carefully understand the question. Yes, cannot be. I think Vikrant has written it correctly. Nobody else.
Samin has got it. Mayuresh is saying it is difficult. Mayuresh, it is not difficult. You just read the question two, three, four times. I know Anuraj Maslani has also got. See that it is not that. Good, Mayuresh got it, I think. It is somewhat challenging. Again, it is not challenging. Only thing is that Jay is also getting the answer. It is only thing is that you need to understand the question. Om got it. Sahil got it. Aditya got it. Siddharth got it. Right. So see, it's not difficult. Only thing is that it is something lengthy. So the last day of a century cannot be. So what about this century? Whether this century is this one, this one, this one, or this one, or all. Right? So obviously you have to consider all now because the question next point is about cannot be, which can't be. So, you know, in, in uh, 100 years, there are five all days, right? So that will be your Monday, right? Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So your last day of the first century is Friday. That's fine. Then in next uh, 200 years, right? If you consider here, there are three all days. So that is your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So again, your last day of the century is Wednesday. In next, you have only one odd day. That is your Monday. So this is your last day of the century. And here, if you have zero, if, if you consider zero, that means it is Sunday. So for a kind of any of the century, there will be a Friday, there will be Wednesday, there will be Monday, there will be Sunday. Only thing is that, there will not be, if we start from Sunday, Monday, there will not be Tuesday. Right. Th Wednesday is there. There will not be Thursday. Right. And there will not, Friday is there. There will not be Saturday. So these are the three days which cannot be the last day of the century. So in your given options, there is only one. That is option C. Right. So this is the way to tackle this particular question, right? Okay, someone is asking to repeat it anyway. Just a minute, I will again read. So the logic can also be that it will not be an even day. Even day. Yes, because 5031 cannot be, yes, even day. That can be. Okay, so the last day of the century cannot be. So here, what you have to find out, you have to find out the day which cannot be the last day of that particular century. Now, what you will consider here a century means, so that century can be first one, that is 100, that can be 200, that can be 300, that can be 400, right? So, just by considering only one is not enough. You have to consider uh, the last day of each and every century. And that propagates through uh, like 100, 200, 300, and 400. 
Now, in this particular case, if you consider as as yesterday we have considered or seen that how many are odd days in each of the century. So, in the first century, we do have five odd days. So we have written it right as Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. In next two hundred years, we have only three odd days. In fact, two five plus five, right? It has become ten. And uh, by uh, by by corresponding it to a complete week, we have only three days left, right? So these three days will be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. That's fine. So Friday can be the last day. Wednesday can be the last day right, for two centuries, first two centuries. In third century, if you go, right, then uh, there is only one odd day, right? Five plus five plus five, it is corresponding to two complete weeks. So only one day will be remaining back. And that is your, let's say, Monday. So Monday can be the last day. And in, in the 400th century, the last day, in fact, there is only one, sorry, there is zero hour days and that zero hour days means your Sunday. So the last day of any of the century can be Friday, can be Wednesday, can be Monday, can be Sunday. But it cannot be Tuesday, it cannot be Thursday, it cannot be Saturday. So these are the three options which you have to pick up. But as far as your question is concerned, there is only one option that is the Tuesday and therefore your option is C in this particular case. Fine. So here you have to trace on the century and cannot be. Right. So this is, this is giving you the logic. Fine. So let's go for the next question, probably last question of uh, this particular session. Right. What was the day of the sorry week on twenty eighth May two thousand six? Options are a, B, C, T, Sunday, Friday, Wednesday, Tuesday. Yes, so I mean it is correct. Mayuris, it is correct, but try to develop the complete logic. Sahil, it is correct. Ashish, it is fine. Shreyash, it is correct. Vinayak, it is correct. Aditya, got it. Akshay Girsa, it is right. Jay, recheck it. Vedant, recheck it. Om, recheck it. Okay, those who have uh, written it correctly, can you develop the logic or can you type the logic? What logic is behind this particular question? Since you have some time, because I'll be waiting for a few more moments so that others get tackled with this question. Let me check how many are attending. Okay, that's fine. So many are there. Home recheck it.
I think Vikram got it, Rushabnath got it. Siddharth got it. Vedanta Richek Richek Om. Uh, yes, now I got, I, I think you got it. Yes, Pranav it is. Okay, let's see. So although its explanation is somewhat lengthy, sometimes you can uh, come. Uh, okay, option is A, Sunday. Right, so I was talking, though its, it's explanation is lengthy, uh, and also there are some shortcuts, but first, uh, let's understand it in a, in a proper way so that, uh, you can develop your own logic forever. So, 28th May 2006, fine. This is the way, sorry, this is the thing. 28th May 2006. That means, how many years are there? 2005 complete years, plus the period from 1, 1, 2006 to 28th May 2006. This is the period, right, which you do have. So now I have to find out the odd days, right? The odd days. So, you know, for 1600 years, there are zero odd days. For next 400 years, there are zero odd days, right? So for 2000 years, first 2000 years, there will be zero odd days. Right. I will write what I am saying. So there will be zero odd days for next 400 days. There will be zero odd days. Therefore, it becomes 2000. Now 2000 plus 5 is your 2005. So for next 5 years, right, for next 5 years, here, how many leap years will be there and how many ordinary years will be there. So I will write four plus one. So one is the leap year and four are the ordinary years. Therefore, I know one into, sorry, four into one plus one into two. So it becomes four plus two is equal to six, right? So these are the six odd days for the five years. Fine. That's fine. Now. Next thing is that you have to go for the uh, duration from 1st January 2006 to 28th May 2006. So obviously 1st January to 31st plus uh, in this case 28, right? Now Feb is considered as 28 plus because the earlier year, in fact, 2004 will be your leap year. So it is not, 2006 is not the leap year. Fine. So 28, the next will be 31 plus 30 plus 28. It becomes, no, Satra, Atralat, Sala, Ek, Saha, No, Bara, 